What is going on guys? It's Armada and today we got pretty exciting news for World War II Zombies that actually came out a few hours ago and let me say it talks about a lot of the in-game things you could do or how it's going to be with this new info. Now the info and a zombie. Now all this info actually comes from Game Informer magazine which if you guys do not know Game Informer magazine is super duper cool. It's like a magazine that tells you all games and info about the game and now there's going to be a Game Informer for September talking about World War 2 zombies. Now I I personally love Game Informers. I always get their magazines. It's incredible how much I have. I think I have too much. I love Game Informer. I love reading them. I don't even know how I started getting them. I just started getting them. And here's an Overwatch one, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's one of my favorites. But there's... But there's going to be a World War II Game Informer, and I am so hyped for that Game Informer. I cannot wait, but they have revealed some new info to us, and it's really exciting info. So when all this stuff actually came out, I was looking for this website, but then I went to Twitter, and then Glitching Queen linked the website on her tweet, and that's how I found it. And let me say, it's pretty cool. This might actually be a pretty long video, so um, let's get started. Our first piece of information is that the World War II Zombies mode takes place towards the end end of World War II, when Nazi Germany was desperate for a solution. The zombies then are created by man, it says. Zombies are centered around the nervous system. The zombies are created by bolts and other items that you can see stuck in them. Their backbones is the energy where it charges their nervous system. The zombies are actually being tortured. Now this is pretty cool as we get more info on how the zombies were created. Like it said, they were created by man and by Germany, how desperate they were. They made a zombie army to try to help them win the war, but instead they did not know how to control it and it ended pretty bad. The zombies are actually tortured when they are zombies and I guess we're putting them out of their misery. And it also says that the backbone is actually charging them, so maybe that is a weak point. Maybe if we go behind them and shoot them in the back, maybe they'll die instantly or something. Now this is really really interesting what I'm about to read now. There are different classes and types of zombies. LOL, EXO zombies, not all have every body part you may expect. Pest classes, which is probably a name for a zombie, pest, do not have any arm. Rather, they assemble from spare parts. The boomer, which is another set of zombie class, the boomer class of zombies are stitched up from parts. Which sounds pretty... Dangerous. Seeing that we have different types of zombies will kind of make this game mode a little bit interesting and I'm so hyped to hear this type of info. But let's move on to th the next one. Zombies featuring customizable loadouts, but also permanent unlock that work like perks. Game Informer directly compares this to gobblegums, but these are permanent, not temporary uses like gobblegums. So what they're basically trying to say is that they have customizable loadouts that stay there permanent for the entire game instead. And it's a bit different from gobblegums because gobblegums actually stay there for a little bit, but these actually stay there forever. So pretty interesting. I'm liking how they're going in a different route and not staying to the gobblegum. There are four classes, offensive, control, support, and medic. So we got an offensive class. So that would be the guy that's going to places and shooting up zombies and probably has quite a few guns. Control would probably be the guy that's going around and setting up traps and building up walls or something like that. That's what I think of when I hear control. When they say support, I don't really know what they mean by this, but this can be that they're the ones who give you ammo or something. That's what I'm thinking. I don't really know by what they mean by support, but sounds pretty interesting. And then we have medic, which this might be the person that revives you, but I kind of hope that everyone can revive you or probably gives you extra health or something, which is pretty cool. But the characters are going to have the classes for them, which is unique. The last time we got a class system was quite a while ago and it was from extinction so hopefully they can pull this out right boarding up windows and collecting currency is back in this mode which is pretty damn good to hear i always enjoyed building up the walls not really i never do that but getting currency um yeah pretty good to hear players can earn some special abilities in in zombies mode players can players 
Players can earn some special abilities in Zombies mode, activated by pressing R1 and L1. An example is unlimited ammo. Basically tells us that it's going to have a special ability that we can potentially charge up like we did in Black Ops 3, which I kind of like the sound of that, but is that for an example they gave us infinite ammo. Now this can actually be depended on the class you choose. So for infinite ammo, I'm thinking offensive can have the infinite ammo as its special weapon just because of the name of offense would be the guy that's shooting all the zombies and probably has a lot of grenades but yeah that's probably the power up of that offense the next one we got is tessa weaponry unlocked able by gaining additional powers by killing zombies in specific areas which could possibly be the wonder weapon tessa weaponry i don't know but that might be a wonder weapon super bosses are back in zombies good to hear easter eggs are extremely difficult in this game all right um, they said that their easter eggs are pretty damn hard, but I hope that it's not so hard that it's just gonna get annoying, but I'm counting on them. I'm hoping that this is a very good zombies mode, and yeah, I'm really excited for World War II zombies. I cannot wait. Like I said, I, th I think the Informer actually comes out on September, which is coming up pretty soon, but yeah, that's, that is a bunch of freaking info in world war ii zombies if you guys are just as hyped as me and i'm pretty hyped so if you guys are just as hyped as me make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and i have a bunch of subscribers now thank you guys so much but yeah check out my instagram and twitter link down in the description below super cool information about world war ii i'm so excited let me know what you guys think about all this information in the comment section below but yeah Ripperoni pepper. Why does it keep falling? But yeah, I will see you guys. Never. Hesitating, kryptonite desires set my heart afire.